Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we are yet again going to be skipping events. Um, I'm going, this was kind of half requested, but at the same time, um, it just kind of popped up on subject, so we're going to uh, talk about it. And hopefully, again, this will help people out. So, today's topic is going to be how to power, how to boost your power. And it honestly is quite simple when you really get down to it. The top main things is your hero, or the top main things we're at least going to talk about is your hero, your troops, and your research. Oh, and your beast. As I'm sitting here of my beast on missions so with that said shall we get started all right uh, where to begin where to begin what's going to be the easiest one uh heroes heroes is a big one um a lot of people are asking you know how are we able to get so many five stars so quickly i promise you it wasn't quick um, we've been playing for months, and we've been doing a lot of events, a lot of rallies, and it's been a lot of work to get where we are today. So, don't be discouraged seeing a lot of the biggers, uh, do know you do have the potential to get there. I, for one, am not a big spender, but I'm 15 mil away from popping 100 mil. Now, I know that's not what's known as impressive, I guess, to some people, but to other people, it is at least a viewing of, hey, in a couple months, you could be there. And hopefully with these tips, you might be there even sooner than that. So, we're going to go ahead and start with heroes, a little more into my personal life here. When it comes to heroes, as you see, I got a bunch. Um... I explained this in my last video, you want to upgrade and you definitely want to strengthen. When you do that, it increases the hero's power. Now, based off of what your uh, troop specialization is, it will base off of your main heroes that you're going to want to spend time on. Me, I, I do it all because I never know what the heck I'm getting myself into half the time. But I do specialize in one, and I do try to concentrate on those when I can, as much as I can. And I'm working on getting others up as well, even four stars. How to obtain a cup? There's two, I'm sorry, three five-star heroes that are pretty easy and pretty quick to obtain, at least to get a hold of and actually unlock. Uh, you have McCallus. McCallus is one of the popular ones that comes up in events. He's pretty easy to get a hold of. Um, you also have Scarlet. Well, I'm sorry, there's four. Scarlet, who is a big pop-up who where you can get her from the Discord events that go on. Um, so be sure to always be on top of that. Jump in our Discord, you know... Get those things rolling. Easy, quick, simple thing to do to be able to get uh, a five star. Another way you can get Beatrice through mines or through the mine, the Amethyst mine, and you can get Hill through first kills on rallies. Um. Then through ruins exploration. You and lost lands. Oh my goodness. You can, uh, they have spread out flags that you're able to get for different heroes and stuff like that as well. Um, along with the. Here, let me show you. They look monsters. Along with getting hill for first victories, you also do have a chance of getting four star. Uh, yeah, however you pronounce his name. I am attempting it right now. And you can 
it's rarity. I think I might get one out of like every 25, 30 that I kill. I get one. So it's not definitely a high reliability to just, you know, straight up concentrate on killing relic monsters. But do know you do have the availability and the chance of at least getting him when you do that. Uh, it's same thing with rally, rallying as well. I'm not going to show that because that does have the potential to show other people's stats and not my duty to do that. But... So, yeah, those are definitely the easier ways to do it. Like I said, ruins you have. I'm not going through each one just to find that. Ruins is also a great way to get a hold of hero recruit coins. And that's a great way to stock up on them. Um, especially the lower levels because they give you the basic ones. And that's a great start out, you know, getting them one through or one through the two and three stars and you can at least start with them and it gives you something to work with but when you're in amethyst mine you can unlock this when your command center is level 16 once you unlock it you go in you start mining and then you go ahead and click redeem once you click into it and right at the very top is beatrice unlimited so you can get her, you know, all the way up to plus five. It's just going to take a little bit of time to gather. And that's it. I personally haven't done it because she doesn't work well with my team. So, but I don't know. I might work on her later. Uh, like I said, Michaelis is definitely a big one. And then for some of the semi-buyers, Lucky777 has the ability to give you... Who the heck is it? I know it's Swag. And what's her face? Well, I want so retarded. Laura. Swag and Laura. Um, but they tend to be one of the last or not seven seven seven. Um the roulette. They tend to be one of the last ones that you're able to get. So that's what I'm saying. It, that's, bleh. These two tend to be more of a buyer's galore kind of thing. And they that event is the only way you're able to get these two as well. So be sure once it's up, try to at least get them. Because they are worth it. Especially swag. Swag's pretty worth it. Uh, another way to get heroes is every so often. They will have packs down on your daily special. And you can do it that way. And then also if you go over to the hero section. Oh, I lied. You can buy swag now. They got $50 packs as well as $5 ones for the 4 stars. But typically, a lot of people go for the daily special because you see 10 frags, 10 frags, 10 frags for 50 bucks. A little bit of extra stuff when the daily special gives you 10 frags for 10 bucks with some extra stuff. So a lot of people tend to go after those uh, $10 ones for the daily. Now, that's not going to be every day that there's going to be one, but definitely, you know, every day you check it out. Again, that's for buyers. Um... Heroes is definitely a quick, 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 easy way, especially when you're starting out to gain power. You get a five star and you start racking up those that power, you could easily, easily pop so much power so fast, especially when you get a couple of them unlocked. If you are just starting out and you get like four or five heroes, you know, through recruitment, Guess what? You're you're gonna be quite loaded with power pretty quickly. Um Black Jesus. Alright. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is I'm gonna talk about the beast. Now I know it seems 
pretty worthless, but right now I have him sitting at 576, and that's just based off a of level and attributes. But if you go to his skills, this kind of stuff right here is going to help boost your power dramatically. Like, just all around together. And I'm not saying it as, uh, the power that you see up top. I'm saying it as far as, you know, fighting power or defense power. Whichever one you go for. And then, you also have the, what in the fluff is going on here? And then, you also have the domestic skills, which allow you which help you with gathering and research speed and building speed along with troop load as well and all that extra uh gathering boost is definitely going to help you because then you're able to get those resources in faster you're able to start gathering them up faster what are you doing Xbox is waking out right now. You're going to get those resources in faster. You're going to be able to start boosting faster, researching faster, researching more. And uh, it's just going to be all around a lot more of a better thing. Give me a second if I'm freaking hitting crap. There we go. My uh, recording part poofed on me. Alright, anyways. So, Beast is pretty quick, pretty easy to gain power as far as, you know, the stat-wise power. And being able to help you get those, uh, get your productivity up to be able to help you boost other things. Alright, so, uh, Beasting Heroes. Uh, oh, yeah. Quick tip for Heroes is, um, if you check out our Discord... In pinned messages on gameplay help room and pinned messages I have the schedule for weekly and bi-weekly saved there when we check that out you will see one of the days uh, set up for hero day I would suggest saving these coins for that day it will give you the points that you need to be able to do that that's right. That was the other thing for here. I am so all over the place tonight. Okay. If you go to Hero and you go over to Backpack. This is where it shows you all your extra frags for... Oh, that's new. Okay, cool. That little banner there is completely new. That's awesome. Makes things heck of a lot easier so i don't need these frags anymore the 15 28 25 i just recently did this this is why it's so low i'll go ahead and do convert and i'll convert them all and as you see pop up i get recruitment points and what i can do with these recruitment points I like how they actually have them disappear, too. That's cool. Sorry, this must be just from the new update, because this was not here. With those recruitment points, you up at the top here, you can do it this way, and this will automatically take you to the hero hall. And it will take you to basically the hero shop, I call it. But you redeem points. You can see your points right here, in where the heroes are standing, bottom right there. And you can exchange these points to get fragments for other things. As you see in here, there's your Macallus. So if you're definitely working on Macallus, there you go. There's more hill there. So if you're one or two away, just pop it right there. Alfred and Yuri, both great as well. So there's four more star heroes for you. Or four more five star heroes for you. Wow, that, that was a mouthful. That's what, yep, okay. Be appropriate. Moving along. But yeah, I meant to mention that to you. completely forgot about it, so I just looked at it. But that's the easy way to be able to get four five-star heroes. And really be able to help boost yourself. I don't know 
why that's always up. Next, we are going to talk about research. Yeah, we're really getting nitty and gritty. Develop. Mm, as I stated for the farms, this is definitely the one you want to make sure that you concentrate on for farms. Um, helps with your troop loads, help with the research speed, and helps with your warehouse. It also helps with your food storage. Helps with, um, yeah, your food storage. You're going to want that. But also, you know, your training speed is definitely going to help out. Uh, your troop load is definitely going to help out because when you're going and you're doing bigger tiles, it'll help with that. Economy is the biggest one for the farms you want to work on, but you also do want to work on it for your main. This is going to help because it, it, it helps with productivity and it, it's definitely useful. Um, as you see, the further you down, the longer it goes. That was like two days, I believe. Oh, that one's only eight hours. Cool. That'll be a break. So yeah, one day, 17 hours, and that's just rare. But definitely useful, definitely helpful. I do suggest doing it. Not a major thing for you. As you see, it's one of my lower ones, but... Uh, military. This is the big one that everybody is going to want to concentrate on as far as stat power goes and marching power goes. This is also the category that's going to give you two, I believe, one. Yeah, two new, more marching cues as well. So definitely work on that. It helps with your marching speeds for hunting, rallying. All that kind of stuff. It obviously, you know, helps with each of the troops, defense, attack, and HP. It helps with your marching capacity. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. Three marching cues. So, that's where you get your other three marching cues. Uh, the defense. Hunting marching speed. Just regular marching speed. I really need to get that unlocked. Needless to say, I've been slacking. And then there's the rest of the boost. <laughs> But definitely, this is going to help you boost that power and boost your stats. And then you got your defense, which is your typical, um, helps with your defense weapon productivity, helps with your garrison attack and your defense, helps with your capacity. As you see, I really don't care about defense. Uh, I go for straight attack. I go suicidal. <laughs> I go raw. So, research isn't, again, one of those that's really going to boost your number, but it is definitely going to boost your stats. It will boost your number, but, again, as you see time-wise, as you move further along, it's not really going to be that useful. Building will help you with your power, but mainly the main buildings that it's going to help is obviously your command center, the four factories and your wall. The rest of it really doesn't give you that much. So don't waste your time on it. I am. Mm, beat some booty in the mines here. Um, ruins is definitely great because that's going to give you your recruitment coins to get your heroes, and that's also going to give you your manuals to be able to upgrade your heroes. Or enhance your heroes. Whatever word they decide to use. So definitely helpful with that. Uh, troops though is definitely along with uh, heroes. Is definitely going to be your top priority. Uh, with gaining power. Just for the fact that hmm, it's troops. Uh, let me see here. I think I'm going to do a round. Boop. 40,000 power right there. Again, that's T9. But... Definitely worth it. So definitely work on your command center, your factories, your wall. Work on that productivity boost because that's going to give you your resources faster to be able to... 
upgrade your stuff faster to be able to get higher troops. And it all goes hand in hand. It, it's a lot, but it all does go in a complete circle. And as you get bigger, you'll start realizing it is more necessary. And it, hopefully everything works out. And hopefully everything helps out. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me make sure I got everything. Talked about Beatrice, talked about the ruins. Lost Lands, also really good to keep up with because that's going to give you your star devices and your uh, upgrade devices that you need for your chips and gear and all that fun junk. And that's inside the ruins, by the way. That's this little red warpy thingy. It does unlock only at a certain level. I forget what where exactly, or when exactly it unlocks, but it does only unlock at a certain level too, just like the mine. <laughs> Definitely keep your warehouse upgraded because that's going to help you save your resources, at least for your main. Uh, don't upgrade your warehouse for your farms unless you absolutely have to for the upgrade. If you have to upgrade your warehouse, I suggest emptying your farm first completely of any kind of- What are you doing? Any kind of resources first, then upgrade your warehouse. That way you at least get a full clear clean of it before you waste time. Uh, Hero Hall. Beast. Uh, Alright, quick rundown with the flea market because I've been asked this a lot. So a lot of people are trying to go after this little beauty up here. All this is doing is just showing you what the special prize that is worth it and how much it is. You still have to go through these four boxes down here to find it. You still have to buy stuff and hope to get it. You get a bunch of free refreshes. No, oh, <laughs> look at that. I was able to find it. And it does reset every so often, so do keep an eye on it. We'll change up on you if you can't find it right away. But you do get free refreshes, and then it does end up starting to cost diamonds, but it's pretty cheap. I forget exactly how much. But so that's that. Uh, okay, that just takes you to your items thing, and then yeah, that's. Basically, the gist of it, just work on upgrading your heroes, work on upgrading those factories in your command center, and start killing a bunch of creatures, whether it's via rally or relic. Up, uh, work on that mine once you get to 16 so you can get Beatrice, and definitely even... You know, the standard recruit coins, hang on to them because you can trade those in to be able to get better heroes as well. Even four-star heroes are worth it if you can't spend the cost on the five stars yet. So yeah, definitely worth it and definitely work on that. And Oh my goodness, so I drop on my phone. And when you're working on that stuff, you should start skyrocketing and start seeing your power going up especially with your level going up as well it will take time do not be discouraged uh even if you hit 10 million 18 million in like two weeks you know that's still really good you're making progress that's what matters you're not staying staggered or stationary like my butt has been because i've been a little lazy the past couple of days so I'm going to, myself, I'm going to start working on some things here and start getting some things together for upgrading and promoting and all this other stuff. And, yeah, it takes time. <laughs> and I wish you all the best of luck. Any questions, just feel free to comment down below. Catch me up on Discord. Um, you're more than welcome to also privately message me on Discord as well. And I will try to help you out. No questions are stupid. Please don't be afraid to ask. I'm here to help. 
the rest of the mods are here to help. I got other players that are willing to help. Just ask away. We don't judge here. Till next time, enjoy!